Kevin David, the fake guru who has made millions of dollars selling his overpriced courses on Amazon, teaching people how to sell on Amazon, is now a reality television star. Now, I wish I was joking. I wish I was exaggerating in some way, but I am not. Kevin David is now on a reality TV show. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this episode. So if you don't know, I actually didn't know myself. I found this out from people who have left comments on my videos. They've seen him on this uh, reality show and they passed it on to me. And now I've done a bunch of research uh, and it is actually all true. Kevin David is on a reality television show on cable called Marrying Millions. Uh, it's on the Lifetime channel. If you haven't seen it, that's okay. The majority of people who watch my videos are men, it seems like, from the analytics. And Lifetime's more geared toward women. So probably a lot of people who watch my channel have not actually seen the show. But Marrying Millions, if you don't know what it is, the whole premise is they follow a bunch of couples. And one person in the couple is usually incredibly rich. And we're not talking about like a million dollars or two million, we're talking 10, 20, 50 million dollars uh, that one of the persons has. And then the other person is usually not very well off or broke in many situations. And it seems to be with this show, the majority of people on it, it's generally a very well-off, rich, older man uh, and a much younger woman. So it's kind of like a sugar daddy, uh, sugar baby type scenario, at least in most of the cases. And it leads to very awkward conversations and awkward moments on this show because it seems like a lot of these couples aren't actually, they don't have really any real chemistry. Uh, they're just both there because the older guy thinks the younger woman is attractive and the younger woman wants the older guy's money. At least that's my scenario. That's what I, I saw from watching the show. That's what I think is true. But of course, you can make your own opinions with that as well. Now, that's not true with every couple. There is actually a very wealthy older woman and she has a slightly younger hippie type boyfriend uh, that doesn't really do anything other than hippie stuff. Uh, and they seem to actually like each other quite a bit. So, you know, it's not that's not true in every scenario. Uh, but Kevin David is also on this show as well. Uh, they're currently in the second season. I believe they have one more episode that's going to air next week. So if you do want to see Kevin David, it's on the Lifetime channel. It's called Marrying Millions. Uh, he wasn't in the first season of the show at all. He's just on the second season. They added him. But he's on the show with his girlfriend, Katie. Now, on the show, the show refers to Kevin David as a tech entrepreneur, which to me seems pretty misleading because when I think of a tech entrepreneur, I think of someone who actually created something, maybe like uh, the guy who created Snapchat. I don't particularly like Snapchat, but that guy is actually a tech entrepreneur. He created an app that millions of people use or the creator of Facebook or Twitter or whatnot. Those are tech entrepreneurs. When in reality, Kevin David has made pretty much all of his money uh, just being a fake guru and selling these overpriced courses. He just records himself like I'm doing right now and just tries to teach people information that's really, really outdated. And you can find this information for free or very cheap on sites like Udemy. And he sells these courses for like $2,000. He actually has a new course. I made a video on it. I'll have a link below where he tries to sell this course. He has a new Amazon course that he's trying to sell for $10,000. So it's crazy that so many people are willing to give Kevin so much money. Uh, and that's really how he's made all that money. Now, in fairness, Kevin is a very good marketer and he has many, many courses. Uh, he has an Amazon course. He has a Facebook ads course. He has a Shopify course. He even has a course teaching people how to sell their course, uh, which is quite meta. Uh, but, that, you know, it is interesting that that's really how he's made the majority of his money, but he doesn't really kind of portray it that much. He does talk about selling courses uh, in the video on the channel, but it seems like the channel is trying to promote him as more as a tech entrepreneur when he's really just selling courses online and making millions of dollars, kind of scamming people. But let's actually hear from Kevin David. This is Kevin in his own words on the channel, what he thinks about what he's actually doing. I'm Kevin, I'm 30 years old and I live in San Diego, California. I'm an internet entrepreneur and software developer. I teach people how to start their own online businesses, kind of like a professor, but on the internet for millions of people rather than, you know, 30 people in a classroom. My estimated net worth is somewhere between 40 and 50 million. We actually just got an offer in for $6 million. My ego is, you know, not small. I've always felt that, you know, anything that I wanted to do and set my mind to, I could do. I bought my multi-million dollar mansion on the beach. The sun sets literally right outside my bedroom window. And I also own a penthouse in Las Vegas. But besides that, I really don't spend money on like silly stuff. I'm just not like a super flashy person. Um, I guess besides the Lamborghini. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so this is one of my favorite scenes. Kevin David specifically says, I'm not a very flashy person, guys, as he gets out of his multi-million dollar house and gets into his, you know what, $200,000, $300,000 Lambo and then drives to this fancy restaurant. He's not a flashy guy at all. You know, it's ridiculous that people would think that about him. Now, if you know anything about Kevin David at all, you know he's not a modest person at all and he's extremely flashy. If you go to his Instagram page, you'll see nothing but pictures of him standing standing in front of a jet, standing in front of a mansion, or standing in front of fancy cars, or going on vacations all over the world, right? And if you've ever seen one of his YouTube ads, it's all about him driving in his Lambo, talking about he how he's living this amazingly rich life, and you can do it too if you just buy his course and start selling on Amazon, when in reality he made all his money selling the course, so he's obviously selling a lie. But his entire persona, everything about him, is all about flash and money and no substance behind it. It's all about selling a lifestyle. So the fact that he comes out and be like, I'm not a flashy person at all, uh, it really is probably one of the funniest scenes in the entire season to me. Now going forward, I wanna say I really don't know why Kevin David decided to do this reality show. Maybe it's his girlfriend that wanted to do that, I don't know, because you can see from the clip he's already, you know, very, very rich. He says 40 to $50 million. He's already got a bunch of fame, pretty much like everyone on YouTube knows him from all his YouTube ads. So I don't really know why he wanted to do this. It's not really for money or fame. He already has that. Uh, but you, if you see the actual season, and I do recommend that you watch the show, not because it's a great show or anything, just because it's hilarious, uh, if, you, if you know anything about Kevin David from seeing his videos, how absolutely ridiculous uh, that he thinks he's, he's being portrayed when it's just simply not true. And on the show, he's portrayed as kind of a villain. He's portrayed as kind of a jerk to his girlfriend throughout the entire season. Basically, the whole point of their, uh, their portion of the show is they basically get in arguments throughout the entire season. And his girlfriend says that Kevin never pays any attention to her. He's always just focused on his work. And she complains to her girlfriend and says, you know, Kevin doesn't care about me. And her girlfriend says, you should leave Kevin. And that's basically the gist of the entire season. Uh, but there's a lot that goes on. Uh, one clip I really want to show you is this one, so take a look. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <clears throat> so do you want to split this? You want to split the check? I don't think that Kevin truly understands what it's like for me financially. And it bothers me because I'm obviously struggling. It's how you were raised to be more traditional, and it's how I was raised to be more frugal. If anyone thinks I'm a gold digger, I would laugh in their face because Kevin hasn't given me a dime, and that's pretty much it. Never crosses your mind that, uh-oh, she may not be able to afford this. No. So this clip is my all-time favorite clip of this show. And again, I recommend you watch this show just because of how actually hilarious it is if you know anything about Kevin David and everything that he does on YouTube. So in this specific clip, Kevin David picks out this fancy restaurant uh, that he decides to take his girlfriend to, very expensive, very classy restaurant. He takes her to this restaurant, they have dinner together, just the two of them, and then when they're done, he tries to get her to split the check with him. Now, a couple things, like if you were just going out with a date that didn't go well, maybe you would split the check in that scenario, but supposedly this is the girlfriend that he's had for an entire year at this point. They say in the show they've been dating for a year, uh, and it's just ridiculous that Kevin, who's supposedly worth 40, 50 million dollars, wants to split the check with his girlfriend that he's had for a year, who is a part-time model that has next to no money. That just shows, I, I don't know what's going on with Kevin, but uh, that's absolutely ridiculous and one of, the, one of the funniest clips in the actual season. Now, like I said, their portion of the show on this season is basically them just arguing back and forth. She says uh, Kevin doesn't pay her enough attention. Kevin's like, I'm trying to build my business, babe. I gotta keep building it up. Uh, and all of her friends are saying, Kevin David is a jerk and you should leave him. And basically that's the point of their, their time on the show until the end of the season and the, very, the second to last episode, Kevin David breaks it to his girlfriend uh, without telling her beforehand this was going to happen. He basically just says, I'm moving to Las Vegas, and that's how it is. And of course, she's obviously very upset because she lives in San Diego and she doesn't think a long distance relationship will work. All of my legal advisors and lawyers are telling me to move, and so... What about us? I mean, I, I have to, basically. I'm moving to Vegas because my tax and business advisors told me that it's going to be very beneficial from a profit perspective. It just makes a lot more sense for me to not live in San Diego. I mean, long distance is obviously not ideal, but it takes sacrifices to create really successful businesses. Now, if you know anything about 
uh, why this actually happened. I also live in California. He used to live in San Diego, California. Uh, and California is like charges the most taxes if you're incredibly wealthy. And Kevin David is you know, obviously worth 40, 50 million dollars. He's insanely wealthy. So they're charging him a ridiculous amount of money in taxes. So he talks about in the episode how moving to Las Vegas will save him millions and millions of dollars a year. And that's ultimately why he decided to move to Vegas uh, and his girlfriend didn't move with him. Now he actually used his girlfriend in ads trying to sell his Amazon courses uh, back last year, about November and December. And that's when the season was actually uh, first recorded. It, it's airing now, but it was recorded back in November and December. So I don't actually know if they're still together. They probably are not. If you go to his Instagram page, uh, you can look at all the pictures that he has and he doesn't have a single picture now of her anywhere. So I think they ultimately broke up. And ultimately if they did break up, it probably is the best for Katie since apparently she thinks Kevin never paid her any attention, which it does seem to be the case if you actually do watch the season. He's portrayed as a huge villain basically he's, he's kind of portrayed as a jerk who doesn't really care about his girlfriend at all katie clearly cares very much for kevin uh, but kevin just kind of seems like he's focused on his business the entire uh single time so again i don't really know why kevin decided to go on this reality tv show i would love to hear your comments below as to why you think he decided to go on the show it's not for money he's very very rich it's probably not for fame he already has a multi, I believe he has like 1.5 million subscribers on YouTube. He's got a massive Instagram following, a massive Facebook following. People know him when they see him, so it's not about fame. So I don't really know why he decided to go on this because they portrayed him, the show portrayed him, because obviously the show can change things. If they wanted to look, make him look really good, they could have, but they decided to make him look kind of like a jerk uh, throughout the entire season. So I don't know why he decided to do that. On his YouTube channel, on his Instagram, he controls that. He can control how he is portrayed uh, through his, his actual social media profiles, but he can't actually control how he's portrayed on this Lifetime show, uh, Marrying Millions. So it's interesting. I, I don't really know why he decided to go on that show. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Why do you think he decided to go on the show? Uh, do you think it was cheesy that he decided to go on the show? How do you think he's portrayed on the show? I would love to hear your thoughts below. But your boy, Kevin David, the fake guru who has made millions of dollars selling his Amazon course, is now a reality television star. So there you go. I'll have links below to clips for that show if you actually want to watch it yourself. Uh, definitely give it a look. It is quite funny if you know anything about Kevin David at all. Uh, so definitely check it out. Thanks, everyone, and have a fantastic day.